Hi guys, this is Raul from Simply Learn and today I am going to tell you how you can become a successful cloud computing engineer. Now cloud computing is one of those technologies that's rapidly rising and with any technology that's growing rapidly, it comes with several job opportunities for the people who are skilled in it. So before we get into it, let's have a brief look at what is cloud computing. Cloud computing refers to services like storage, databases, software, analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence and so much more, all of which made access accessible via the internet. The cloud tech services market is expected to grow 17.3% in the span of 2018 to 19, which means there's a growth from $175.8 billion to a whopping $206 billion in 2019. And as of 2020, it's expected that 90% of all organizations in the world would be using cloud services. Not to mention several organizations around the world suggest that using cloud computing services has enabled their employees to experiment a lot more with technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence. So here's what we'll be going through today. Firstly, we'll be talking about who is a cloud computing engineer, the steps you need to take to become a cloud computing engineer, and the cloud computing engineer salaries. So first off, who is a cloud computing engineer? Now, a cloud computing engineer is an IT professional who takes care of all the technical aspects of cloud computing, now be it design, planning, maintenance, and support. Now, a cloud computing engineer can take up a number of different career paths. This could be that of a cloud developer, security engineer, a full stack developer, sysops administrator, solutions architect, cloud architect, and so much more. Now, let's have a look at some of the major cloud computing roles. First off, we have solutions architect. Now, these are individuals who are responsible for analyzing the technical environment in which they are going to produce the solutions, the requirements, and the specifications. Secondly, they are required to select an approach appropriate technology that satisfies said requirements. They need to estimate and manage the usage and the operational costs of the solutions they provide and they need to support project management as well as solution development. Next, we have SysOps administrators. They are involved in deploying, managing and operating highly scalable and fault tolerant systems. They need to select an appropriate service based on compute, security or data requirements. They need to estimate and manage usage and operational costs and they need to be able to migrate on-premises workloads onto an appropriate cloud computing platform. So among both of these roles, there are certain requirements that are remaining constant. Now let's have a look at the steps you need to take to become a cloud computing engineer. Your first step is to gain proficiency in a cloud computing platform. Now the first step is to become proficient in at least one of the three major cloud computing platforms, be it AWS, Azure, or the Google Cloud Platform. Now there are a huge number of resources that you can find on the internet. It could be YouTube videos, articles, virtual or physical classrooms and so much more. Now after you're done learning, you can get certified by Microsoft Azure, AWS or the Google Cloud Platform. Now for AWS, you have a number of different certifications which can be divided into three categories which are the foundational, which is just the basics, the associate level certifications, the professional level certifications and the specialty certifications. Similarly with Microsoft Azure, you have certifications that enable you to become an Azure Developer Associate an Azure Administrator Associate, an Azure Architect Professional, and a DevOps Engineer. Now, most cloud computing platforms have a free tier that you can take advantage of. These provide a number of free services for a period of time, some of which are free forever. So you can use these platforms to your advantage and do as much practice as you can on them. Now, if you want to learn more about cloud computing, you can also check out Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Then you can go on to the playlist section right here and you can find comprehensive videos on a number of different cloud computing platforms, AWS and Microsoft Azure. Our AWS tutorial videos talk about what exactly is AWS, how you can become an AWS Solutions Architect, Amazon EC2, S3, some of the other services and so much more. We also have detailed tutorials on Azure which talks about what exactly is Azure, the certifications provided by Azure, some of the services like machine learning, Azure Active Directory and so much more. And now now we're at step two, being experienced in at least one programming language. Unlike general purpose programming languages like C, C++, C Sharp and so on, cloud computing requires ones that are a lot more data oriented. Now some of the major programming languages that are used in cloud computing are Go, Python, Clojure and Java. Now as I said before, there is a wealth of resources that you can learn from. There are free websites that 
which you can practice your code on like quick code code academy and several others there's also resources like youtube videos as well as there's the option of online or offline classes now we're at step three specialization you'll also need to be well versed with a number of key concepts these are storage and networking now with storage you need to know how data can be stored and where it can be accessed from you need to know how it can be accessed from multiple different resources you'll also need to have some experience with the services provided by azure and aws like the amazon s3 in aws and the appropriately named azure storage from microsoft azure with networking you need to have a strong understanding of the networking fundamentals as well as virtual networks next up we have virtualization and operating systems with virtualization you need to know how virtual networks which are just a combination of different virtual machines can be used to emulate different components in a particular system with operating systems you need to have a very strong understanding of operating systems like windows and linux next up we have security and disaster recovery now you need to understand how data application as well as infrastructure can be protected from malicious attacks with disaster recovery you need to be prepared for any unexpected circumstance by making sure your systems are always safe and are regularly backed up to prevent any sort of loss of data then we have web services and devops now you need to have a strong understanding of apis or application program interfaces and web services some amount of experience with web design also can be of great help with devops you need to have a strong understanding of how cloud computing is able to provide a centralized platform on which you can perform testing deployment and production for devops automation moreover with devops you understand the synergy that the operations as well as the development teams have with each other and for the success of any project and finally you're a cloud computing engineer now let's have a look at the salaries of cloud computing engineers in the united states cloud computing engineers earn around hundred and sixteen thousand dollars per annum in india a cloud computing engineer is paid approximately six lakh sixty six thousand rupees per annum now how can simply learn help you become a cloud computing engineer so let's head on to simply learn's website here we have the cloud architect masters program now this deals with a number of different courses all of which that can help you get started in your journey to becoming a cloud computing engineer this masters program covers a number of different courses like aws technical essentials microsoft azure fundamentals aws developer associate and so much more it provides you 40 plus in demand skills and 25 plus services provides you a master certification it has 16 plus real life projects and helps you get a salary that ranges between 15 to 25 lakh rupees per annum. It also covers a variety of tools like Amazon EC2, Azure Data Factory, Virtual Machines, and so much more. So why don't you head on to simplylearn.com and get started on your journey to getting certified and getting ahead. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.